And uh, so this was in the mid 40s. Of course, we were in the World War II and he was not able to be in the army because of his injuries and things he'd had in the car accident. And so he started a little welding shop and he employed a man by the name of Jim Foss. Jim and Janine were, uh, were one of the early settlers here in, in Hiawatha before it became a town. I was just thinking about uh, back before, um, in World War II, when he had his first little welding shop. Um, I think it was in 1944. But soon after that, he locked it up one night, and that night it burned down completely. And he lost something like $60,000, $70,000 in this, that he owed his creditors for that. And he would not take bankruptcy. He insisted on paying back every one, which he did within a year. He paid off all those creditors and then built the little Quonset hut lunchroom that people here remember. And uh, so he had Jim working for him as a welder. And then when the war ended and the welding job was contract was done, Jim says, well, I guess I'll have to move and find work somewhere. And Fay said, no. He says, you stay here and we're going to build a town. And uh, so he taught him everything he knew. But uh, before that, before he talked to Jim, of course, Faye had had this vision uh, of seeing Hiawatha as a town and seeing a freeway going where the railroad tracks used to be. And that's what gave him that idea of, you know, that he was going to build a town here. And that's what he did.